Have you ever gone to the store looking for one thing and then you wind up buying something else? Well, basically, that's what this is. My one of the shops that I go to in my area was having like a weekend sale, you know, 10% off ammo, 10% off, you know, guns, rifles, shotguns, and all that stuff. And basically, I went there to buy one thing, and you know, you start looking through the case to see what they got. And as you can see from the title, this is not a box of ammo that I intentionally went there for. This is proven to be the ultimate zombie gun. And if you don't believe me, you've never watched The Walking Dead because in the case when I went there was this Colt Python in nickel. Finish. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. Oh yeah, by the way, tonight's video is brought to you by Lagunitas, a little something. So look, guys. Oh, and I just got home with this, so this thing is not loaded. So beer and unloaded firearms in the house. Well, basically, like I said, I went there to buy ammo. Instead, I wound up buying this. Um, this was pretty much. Uh, the production on this was from 1955 to 1999 and <clears throat> I think like after 85 they discontinued the nickel finish and then went to stainless steel. Um, I think I got a good price on this. I mean, I'll show some close-ups of it. There is some wear on it. The uh, It's not bad at all. It's got a couple scratch, like small minor scratches. Um, I mean, everything on it looks to be original. The lockup on this thing is is good. The timing on it is great. Um, the trigger pull on this thing is very smooth. And single and double. I mean, it's very light and single action. Um, I mean, I even went on Gunbroker to see what these things were going for. I mean, the cheapest one I found on Gunbroker was probably around like, oh uh, god, two grand, I think. I mean, let's just say I didn't, pay, I didn't pay anywhere near that for this. Somewhere in between two and a thousand, let's just say, maybe meet right in the middle. Uh, it is dirty. I have not cleaned it yet. Um, you can see from the previous owner. It's got, it hasn't been, it doesn't look like it's been cleaned in a while. I mean, it's got fingerprints on it and stuff like that, but, uh, well, actually, when I went in there, they told me that they just put this out, and there was no way I was, I was not walking out without it. Then I find out when I went to pick it up that somebody came in an hour later to come back and buy it, and they told them they sold it, so, but, I'll show you a little close-up of it. Nice and shiny. Ooh. Oh, don't be afraid. It's, it's unloaded. Um, it has the adjustable sights on it for windage and elevation, and it has the, you know, just a regular black front sight. Uh, I know it, probably the later models had the uh, the orange insert. I'm not exactly sure, but this one does not have it. Anyway. They told, the one thing that I do know is that you're not supposed to use hoppies on it because of the nickel because it eats copper. So they told me to try this break, break free CLP on it. Well, see what happens. If you guys have any, you know, suggestions on what to use, you know, I'm all for it because this is my first nickel plated firearm. And basically they just told me to use flits to uh, polish it up, but, you know, go easy on the, uh, on the flits. All right, let me show you some close-ups of it. All right, this is a close-up. I mean, as you can see, that's some of the wear that's on it. I mean, it looks like some holster wear on the cylinder. It's got some. I mean, it looks pretty good otherwise. I'm not gonna argue. Let's take a look at the other side real quick. I don't know how good this is coming up. 
Well, I'm gonna give it a polish. I mean, the, the grips are in really good shape too. I mean, they seem to be original, but I don't know. I'm not too familiar with this one. I gotta look and still see. Then on the trigger, there's a little bit of a mark right there. But other than that, that's what she looks like. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy my Friday night and my uh, little something. This little something. And uh, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go and polish my python. Ah, that's good shit.